Yeah, I put it out. I put it out. It's fine. Yeah. Oh, uh, welcome to the Last Kingdom podcast, episode three. It's out. <laughs> <laughs> That was great. I do children's parties. <laughs> that question was what if you could go back in time and you couldn't be an actor, could you be? Sorry, it's the same question. The only thing you. that I ever thought about seriously, apart from acting, was architecture. I thought about becoming an architect. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. I could see that. I could see you, that. You're quite. Vi- you're very visual. And very precise. Very precise, visual, and organized. No, I've got very, very German. <laughs> <laughs> That's the German bit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. That's true. Uh, I would have enjoyed that. Architect. What would you? Uh, I would love to see like a like a food tester or like a baker. Interesting. I love cakes. <laughs> 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 It's we like my mom when she was <laughs> my mom was growing up. She thought she wanted to be an ice cream sell ice cream because she thought she could have a lot of ice cream. But you, yeah. you you would be so fat if you were. I'd be so fat. I'd be so happy though. Yeah. <laughs> <So happy. laughs> you would be. You would be. Yeah. And anytime I was sad, I'd just eat again. Probably it's really bad actually. You wouldn't yeah. be sad. You'd never be sad yeah. because you'd always eat. <laughs> totally. I don't have th- time to think about sadness. <laughs> I'd like to, I thought about this. I'd have two. I'd either love to be a, a singer or a fighter. Like, I think boxing. You're, you'd be a very good fighter, I know that. Mm. You haven't heard me sing. I've never heard you well, sing, so. Well. Maybe you could do the same. I mean, you brought it up. Do Wait a minute. No, we, wanna, did, we did a bunch of karaoke. Was, was this a No, setup? no, no. Did you want us hey, to Do you want me to release the karaoke videos of you singing? <laughs> okay, I'm not saying anything. Great. You're good. We're okay. good. We're good. You know, All right. Thank you. Next question. <laughs> do, 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 do you not realize you could do one of those uh, X Factor battle offs? Do you know when like people get voted off at the end and they're like, oh, who's going to leave? Is it this person or this person? Mm. And they have to sing at the same time. Mm. And who's got the most passion? So maybe you could do the that. same song, the same song, or it's, it's kind of like physical, <clears throat> but at the same time you're doing it with your voice. Mm. Or be like Tyson Fury and win win a fight and then sing and then to sing your girlfriend at the end. Yeah. That's maybe fit to both categories. Okay, baker, architect, singer slash fighter <laughs> slash model. Hey, slash. come on, let me come here. You're more you're more of a model than me. Like you slash, have more experience. What's the last slash? Leave, leave the slash. Choose one more slash. <laughs> Right, I have a thing. I can't. I don't. I can't be too decisive. I'm not. It's but it's because you have so much energy. I do have. A so lot of I think you have enough energy to do more than just see, one thing. See, that's the thing. That's I will, I I'm gonna, gonna go on a ramble energy. now. I'm gonna go on a ramble now. That's the problem with nowadays is that we identify as one thing and one thing only for the rest of our lives. So if you meet a person like. One of the first few questions, like, "Hey, what do you do?" And then you give me the answer, and I'm gonna put you in a category, and that's your own. That's the entire identity. I don't want that. I don't. I want to be this. I want to do that. I want to do a bit of this. Not be a jack of all trades, a master of none, but know a lot of things and not identify with one yeah, too much. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta get the right. You gotta surf the wave. You gotta get the right balance with that. I think. Yeah, I agree. Because I'm the first person to agree with you. Yeah. You know how I feel about. Being put into a box, it, it kills me. Right? I didn't mean as in like I you over identify with many things. Maybe you're right what you're saying, but I was more referring to people just asking you like, so what are you? What are you? And then just identifying you as that one mm. thing, if you know what I mean. But then surely if you had like if you called a plumber and the plumber came out, you went here. I've got a problem. I'm a yeah. Okay. System. Maybe. Oh, okay. I also do electricity. <laughs> um, hey, do you know I do interior wow. design? <laughs> All right, guys, you're really making me reconsider my entire value system here. Thanks a lot. I, I think, no, 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 no. You should not reconsider. Because what Mark actually, let me take all of that stuff back. Because okay. what you're saying applies to most people. Mm. And I agree with that. Because yeah. if, if you've invested a lot of energy into becoming one thing, but then you're also doing this other thing, you're probably spreading yourself thin, right? Mm. Yes. But if you've got as much energy and mental capacity as Arnus, you can invest all that time that other people would invest into one thing also into another thing because you've got sure. enough supply. But I thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very, very much. What could be quite beneficial actually, especially for us as actors, 
is that as as an actor, I feel like I need food from somewhere. So if I'm spending my life only being an actor, I get more and more out of touch with reality and what's, you know, what's yeah, going on. True. And and I and I think if you're if you're an artist and you're activating your your creative mind, then I actually you know I really like doing spreadsheets for my taxes. Oh man, I wish I'd love that. <laughs> because because it, it, it uses such a different part of my brain that all the other stuff switches off and then when I come back to doing what I really love, I feel like I'm I'm energized, you know? That's that's a good call. I wish I'd enjoy that as well. I wish I'd enjoy doing well, spreadsheets. Maybe that was a very boring example. But, no, that's a very know? good example because it's the very two complete opposites. Yeah. So I kind of, I get it. Any, anyway, yeah. Baker, which season did you start the show? Um, I started in season. I can't remember. Maybe you should start. <laughs> right. So I came in. I think I came in season two. So you must be at least season two. Yeah, I was there when you arrived for so sure. Right. You were already there. Yeah. Was I there when you arrived? I think you just got there. Yeah. Oh, so you. So Mark came before him. I was vaguely around the slave ship. <laughs> <laughs> vaguely around the slave ship. Okay, so that was season two. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I remember I was there a whole season before you arrived. So I must, right. I must have arrived in are season you one. Are you Probably like episode one, season one. I thought I was a little boy in the in so season one. No, I arrived at the end of the first episode. Right. Oh, Sorry, yeah. I didn't watch it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, so, like the why I agreed to be on this job is then I because you didn't have any <laughs> buddy. <laughs> <laughs> that dude, that was the first reason. <laughs> Sorry. Um. <clears throat> yeah. I mean. Yeah. Sorry. What were you gonna say? Yeah. I uh, we yeah. like to make each other feel very humble on this job. <laughs> don't, yeah. Don't get above or yeah. above and beyond. That's true. I've, has anybody? Yeah, it's a very, it's a very modest cast. Mm. Yeah. Is that the word? That's the word. I think so. Humble. I think so. Humble. Yeah, we're pretty. I don't want to say we, but in general, it's a very, <clears throat> yeah. it's a very humble cast. Don't tell. I thought see everyone. So tell. much, and I love that. I've only noticed that this season, mm, maybe because we've been here for well, I don't know, quite a bit, is that the new actors come in. I only recently realized that the, we're, as soon as they come, we always have our inside jokes on set, but new actors come in and we like slightly keep the door of joking ajar so they could peek in and then we're like by day three we're like all joking together with yeah. the new mm-hmm. cast member as if he or she was here for forever. We have True. to test yeah. out a couple of jokes first just yeah. to see where they You gotta they test are. the level. Yeah. You gotta test but but like, pretty fast they all get corrupted. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember Tara? Oh, oh yes. Taya was so innocent when she, she arrived. She's so innocent. She's so not now. In terms of joking. <laughs> In terms of joking. In terms of joking. <laughs> You're wrong. Yes. I, I don't know if I gave her a red flag or not, but I'm sure I did. You must have given yeah. her a red flag. Yeah. Oh, yes. That day, that, the day, was one day. When well, like, we were oh. around the... T- yeah. The... The thing. Around yes. the table. The thing. Around oh, the coming back day. to pranks. I remember mm. one prank that I really the, enjoyed. Well, I'll just right. talk to myself because I'm not. I remember sure. that prank when we were shooting that very serious scene around the, the table. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and it was a close up on you. And you tried to trick Mark by putting salt in his food or something. Oh, yeah, that's mm. funny. And we removed that trick, and instead I put a whole bunch of salt in your porridge. And it was your tight, tight close up. <laughs> and I was just sitting there because I had to be in, in the same scene, but I wasn't on camera. So I was going to do the scene, reply to Utrida said trick, and then just look what he's doing. And he put that in his mouth and I could see like the tiniest flinch, not even the camera picked it up. And he went, he did the entire scene. It was like a two, three minute scene. (laughs) There was so much salt. I couldn't put that amount of salt in my mouth. And he just went for it, which respect. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was kind of a... It was kind of a challenge. I think it it was was less about professionalism, more about proving like (laughs) balls of steel. Because I knew it was you. Ah, sh**. Yeah. You held it in so much, I felt like, oh my god, at the end of this, he's gonna go crazy. I think, I, yeah, I felt like. Because, like, wow. Oh, you were scared. Wow, he's I was scared. Mean, yeah, yeah, I was like, oh. I mean, oh. it wasn't like really. I mean, I know I could f you up, but I could. That was a bit. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> yeah, 
you could. You could. No, you I don't could. think so. Standing up, you could. On the uh, ground. On the ground, yeah. Mm. But you know, if you take me down, that's the thing. That's just like, stand up only works so far. Yeah, but if you're a good takedown artist. Oh, that's a really cool thing. People don't know you do jujitsu. He does. They don't need to. They don't. I don't. Need to. I think don't he's going to kill them. Oh well, yeah, I suppose. See, that's the thing with acting, Mark. That, no, that's the mystery part. No. You got. You got to be. You be able to come in. And like, oh, do you know how to do this? Oh, I don't know. Let me try it. Boom, you're professional, amazing. Oh, yeah, fair That's enough. the beauty. Just the trick. Like, oh, don't then, let him see you coming. Yeah. And you're like, oh my God, you're a natural. Phrasing. <clears throat> yes. I'm yes. natural. <laughs> Four years training. Natural. <laughs> oh, I've never... How do you, how do, you do this? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> maybe, Why? Maybe Ewan's so good. Like, going back to Ewan being mysterious. Maybe he's had amazing training and we don't know about it. Like training in what? Like training, like he's been trained in life. Some. Yeah, in life, and so many things. Yeah, he's from Derby, man. Yeah. He's like really trained. He's like really above humble. All of us. Yeah. yeah, totally. And then he's like, ah, just turn up and just try it, and he, he's amazing at everything. Yeah, I think he's just he been is. training all his life. I think he no will. one knows. Yeah. I'm I'm slowly starting picking him up. I'm like I'm asking like, do I not? Well, anyway, let's leave you and out of this. Yeah, let's leave you and out. Yeah, we'll get in trouble. I don't want to be in trouble with you. Because he potentially could be like an absolute nutter and we don't know about it. He is. He is. <laughs> yeah. That he is. That's what I think I'm sure Do you not notice the look in his eyes sometimes he has? Like you see him on set wandering and alarm. Like I just sit out like I look at him and and try to like understand. He's just like mumbling, talking to himself. I'm like, so weird. Not even, doesn't have any lines on that day. No, I know he's not doing a self tape on that day, but he's just like, I don't know. You've seen it. It's an it's an intimidation tactic. Also, another power move. <laughs> you and stop. See what he's doing? He's like mm. getting into our heads. Thank you. We finish each other's sentences. I like that thing that you you were doing you, when you were talking, talking to about two together. <laughs> Just do that thing. Do the, 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 the talk and talk together. together. Yeah, yeah it's, it's amazing. amazing. <laughs> and then, then we, we do it all day, day. and we, we just finish, finish off, off each, each other's, other's sentences. sentences. You could just say we finish each other's sentences. Because finish yes. off each other's, yeah. and then that little pause. Uh, uh, I'm not that good at it. You're it's really good awkward. at it. You. When you do it, you're really good, and when you do it with Toby, oh, it's very good. Toby, yeah. Well, Toby's yeah, just you all and around. Toby were the kings with the best Toby, Toby's just like throw anything acting related at him, and he's just gonna. He's yeah. so good. Love Toby. Yeah, he's a good quite, laugh as well. Some I'm like, of sometimes I'm envious of his like, way of just the he just makes it look so just easy. Just being. It just makes it look so easy. It just is. It just is. It just, just is. It just is, and then you like. Be in my life. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that type of thing. Do you know who's great? Eliza. Oh, yes. Eli I'm Talk a huge Eliza fan. Um, she's, and she's so good at mimicking everyone on set. Mm. Every like, single person. Yeah. How many? I mean, accents, I like. think she knows all accents that exist. I've never seen her not being able to do an accent. <laughs> He knows all my lines. I do know all of his lines in case he can't make it to work <laughs> and yeah. I could be a stand in and potentially like, oh, like, he's really good at it. Honest loves it when like all the, the extras, the supporting artists look at him and go, is that Uhtred? Is that Uhtred? <laughs> Doesn't say anything. Just okay, you're the exec. Back. You're the exec. Do we need to redefine complex. the boundaries of our relationship? Oh, no, is no, this no. The There's no. What boundaries? <laughs> what boundaries are we talking about? Let's... <laughs> The only boundaries we have is if Mark puts up a, a red flag. Yeah, Mark, Mark has yeah. a, a flagging system. So if we go too far, and usually Arnis goes too far. <laughs> and yeah. I can sense Mark, it. I can always sense it. You can sense it. Yeah. <laughs> Mark puts up a red flag. Sometimes, what do you have? You have you've got red, red, yellow. yellow. We had a yellow yellow system as warning. Mm -hmm. Warning, yeah. But warning, the latest one is the, is you, you've given, at some point, you, you've, you brought back the flag, yeah. but at some point you've given up and you just yeah. started going into your imaginary panic room. It's like, <laughs> yeah. just close them up like, this is too much for me. <laughs> just <don't let> me. <laughs> and I do this because we have microphones on. Yeah. And then like, it taps. I wonder, that's yeah. one when, of those. Whenever you, you see actors standing on set going like this, <laughs> that means we're they're talking, talking about it. something that they don't want anybody else to hear about because we've got mics on. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and then usually ten minutes later you see Mark going 
red flag or just walking off or just standing standing in a corner like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right well, do we add yes if, like, what would you be what would you would who would you switch with huh? see i'm so surprised you said execs and all that jazz i would be like writer because then you can write that's power no so, so that's a laugh and then you can go crazy I just want to be I mean? an exec on the day when he's the director so I can tell him, like, no, 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 we're not doing that. I would love to have you fighting with <laughs> Sorry, a spear. Because that. that's the one thing, like, in the books, yeah. you're, you're an amazing spearman. I'd love to see that. Hopefully yeah. next season. There's so much It's a good idea. Just do a spear fight next season. Yeah. Right. So many things. Cool. Yeah. Idea. That idea. was your 11th, right? Yeah. Yes, that has Ooh, to happen. Keeping that one. Yes. Okay, so now get ready for 10 ideas oh, that I suck. Wait, <laughs> oh, so it's... Ah, I thought it's 10 before, to warm up and then everything's good. Before the band, no, 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 Eagle no, no. Good. 10, 1 good, 10, 1 got good. Got it, yeah. got it, got it, got it. Eagle comes in the battle battlefield. See, he's already on Eagle, the... um, horse, reading horse. Is this all one idea? I'd say that's two separate. But have you noticed that so, he he sometimes recycles his ideas? I thought I also like that's what? that's another move is that Ewan has this mystery, and if he has ten ideas, if he uses idea number one and by the idea number seven, he just switches around the words in the description <laughs> of the idea. The director might be like, eh, so that's a good idea because he thinks that he sort of had that idea. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Does that make sense? It's like psychological warfare. It exactly is that. It's just, Dude, but with ideas, good. because you know you gotta you gotta invest in your ideas. If you really like an idea, you say it, give a few ideas on top of that, reword he, it. He wraps them up in in his Scottish puppy eyes, but actually it's psychological please, warfare. Please, please, do it. please. When does Cedric come into it? That's when. You Fair start enough. Watching. That is a good point. <laughs> like season two, when they did ask me, like, why should you watch? This this season. Why, why should you just skip it? Well, even one? when now what? people ask me like, to, "Oh, is it a great show?" I was like, "Ah, skip season one, go to episode two, season two. How many minutes in? How many minutes? In? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I I totally I'm on I'm with you on this one. But yeah. it's just great. It's a great season. Watch it because Finn and May or may not get a girlfriend this season. Who knows? Who knows? Mm. That's what I mean. You read the books and you're like, "Oh my god." I know what's gonna happen, but then does it? I don't exactly. Know. I'm sorry. I know, but hey, I'm sorry. it's fine. It's fine. Thank you very much for tuning in to the Last Kingdom podcast, episode three. <laughs>